Hi, my name is Preet Patel from Meta and today we're going to be talking about distributing vaccination certificates using verifiable credentials. Now while Meta's built robust technology to help you hold something like a COVID vaccination certificate on your phone using the Meta wallet, it, things get quite complicated when you start thinking about how, distributing something at this scale worldwide and where you cannot take for granted that everyone is going to have access to the internet or even a phone. So in these situations, we, we tend to look at other um, low-tech solutions and things like paper-based verifiable credentials and credentials on a chip start coming to mind. So today I'm going to be showing you what we've been doing to bring this closer to reality and how we are implementing some very interesting compression algorithms in order to bring the size of um, the verifiable credentials down to be able to fit on QR codes. So let's take a look at the vaccination certificate vocabulary that Meta has co-drafted alongside a few others. Um, if we scroll down to the example here, um, you can see that what see the type of information that we are um, trying to include in our COVID vaccination certificate. Um, you have things like your batch number, um, the administering center, um, where where you where this vaccination was given, and also things about um, the recipient of the vaccination, their name, their gender, and their birth, date of birth, um, as well as the type of vaccine um, that was um, administered to them. Now, if we go in and take a look at the size of um, this credential that we're trying to issue, um, let's just go ahead and copy um, all of this and go into our bytes counter. You can see that we are essentially coming to a thousand two hundred fifty-eight um, bytes of data as small, but it's not small enough to be able to fit on a QR code and be able to be recognized using low-res um, camera systems and it gets quite difficult when you start thinking about putting these uh, this bit of data on chips where you mostly are encountering sub one megabyte um, chips for NFC cards and so what we've done is used a compression algorithm um, known as Cbor LD which essentially allows us um, to compress this data. So essentially what we've done before that is we've taken the CBOR LD compress, uh, compressed certificate and then base uh, 64 encoded it so that it is easily able to be um, uh, digitized into QR codes. Um, and if we take a look at how much data this um, compressed CBOR LD base 64 um, credential occupies, you can see that it's essentially cuts down our um, size of the credential by half and we end up with 618 characters. Now this we can deal with um, and this is quite nicely being able to be packaged into a QR code as well as put on a NFC chip and that is essentially what I've done here with this um, credential right over here. What we've done is Created, I've basically taken a NFC card and put um, printed out this name tag. However, the more interesting thing is at the back, where you can see that there is a QR code, um, and this contains our CBOR LD compressed and Base64 encoded um, uh, vaccination certificate. Interestingly enough, because we were able to get this data down to sub. Uh, one megabyte, we are able to put that data onto a NFC chip, which is also what I've done on this card, which has an NFC chip inside of it. So I'll be able to show you sort of both of those ways of being able to hold your credential. Now what I'm going to do is essentially go ahead and pull up my phone over here. And you can see that it's got the Meta Verifier um, app already preloaded. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and open um, the app up and you can see that we are presented with a scan screen and what I can do is now just take um, this um, credential and just go ahead and scan that and you're able to see that we've we've basically taken that credential um, from the QR code um, which is base64 encoded we decoded that and then um, used CBOR LD decode to get back our JSON LD um, framed 
uh, verifiable credential and then this was then checked um, and verified and that's what and the result is what we get over here and it contains basically all the information um, that that's contained such as your name your recipient and the type of vaccine given now as said we've, we are also able to put the um, vaccination on this um, card directly using NFC as well so to do demonstrate that what I can do is just press scan card and bring essentially bring this card close to my phone and you can see that again it's done the same thing it's gone ahead and decompressed everything and it's presented us with the credential um, it's verified it and we were presented with all the details Cool. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out. My name is Preet Patel from Matter. Thank you for watching.